And my science question is, how do scientists find fossils? I'm Dr. Dave Lovelace. Uh, I am the museum's scientist and a vertebrate paleontologist. There's a number of steps that go into a researcher finding a fossil. The first thing is you got to figure out what kind of fossil you want to find. You have to know what age the rock is. You have to know uh, who owns the land that that rock is on and if that rock at the surface is actually exposed. So one of the first things I do is consult a geologic map and then I go to another map and use those locations, look at it say on Google Earth, and once I'm on Google Earth I can see what is actually exposed as in it's not covered with grass or a lake or some rancher's pond. You go out and you systematically just start scouring the surface, you walk across the surface, and you're trained pretty quickly on a search image of the type of fossils that you're looking for. So I work in the earliest part of the late Triassic, so around 230 to 220 million years ago. Um, this is the classic red rock of the western U.S. And what we're looking for are some of the earliest examples of dinosaurs and the animals that are associated with them. And so we're trying to understand the ecology and how these organisms evolved during the changing uh, climates of the late Triassic. Each year we take a group of students that volunteer and work in the museum, students from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and we go out to the field. We spend two to three weeks prospecting. The students learn all different aspects of the, the science now then they return to the lab they actually get to work on the material that they themselves collected. The majority of the time if you're looking at a fossil dig or somebody who's actually excavating fossils out of the ground one of the things that had to happen is somebody had to find it. The typical way is exactly how we described with all of those steps until you walk the land and you finally find something and you're very excited when you do. You can uh, walk a lot of rock and not find fossils. Another way that fossils are found, um, and there are some great examples, are uh, things like the um, mammoths that were found in uh, Colorado recently. The mammoths were found because they were excavating a, uh, a foundation for a house or a basement. 